And so I noticed, especially when you're using path tracer, a lot of people run into this where um, sometimes when you flip the path tracer, sun intensity drops to zero and you're trying to figure out why the hell I'm not seeing shadows, but everything else is rendering. And that's actually why. For some reason, I've noticed even in the newest version, uh, every once in a while, that'll happen. So you want to make you want to make sure you have your sun intensity on, first of all. If I drop it to zero, you'll see what happens. All the shadows go away, right? If I go to 50, you'll see it's there. And so um, you can play with this, you know, depending on your scene. And then um, the ambient light. One thing you'll notice, too, with, with Twin Motion is... Um, it tends to have some some dark. It tends to have some dark corners and ambient lights, dark shadows, dark dark areas that you need to brighten up. So, it's okay to go a little overboard on the ambient lighting and the shadow reduction um, because you do tend to have really dark corners in Twin Motion. Um, it's just the nature of what it is. It's what I mean in my humble opinion. That's kind of how it's how it's structured. And so, ambient light you'll see is probably going to be higher. If I drop it down, you'll see kind of what I mean. Um, you know, if, if you don't crank this up a little bit, you start losing stuff in the shadows. Hopefully you saw some of that change there. 